Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. In today's video, we're going to dive into my cash envelope setup. I am going to talk about the different wallets that I am currently using for my cash envelopes and how I organize them. So first, if you've never heard me talk about the cash envelope system and why I decided to go back to using cash envelopes, make sure that you check out that video if you watch that video this one will make more sense and then after you finish watching that one you can come back here but I am using cash envelopes in order to help me with my spending my sinking funds and my extra savings so I purchased these wallets from Amazon as you can see I got them in different colors I have a black one a green one and this mustard colored one and I'm using them for three different purposes this one is my savings cash envelope this one is for sinking funds and this one is for spending I will have this envelope linked below but it does have a magnetic closure which I really do love and when you open it up you do see there are some card slots you also can add a pin here and you get 12 plastic envelopes they do come with these labels but I just decided to use my label maker and label them myself then that way I didn't have to write everything in but they do come with these in case you want to use these so if you wanted to pick one of these up or three of them up then you can check out my link in the description box I will link them there let's talk about how I am currently using them the very first envelope is the black one and this one is my spending envelope so at the beginning of the month I pay all of our bills I pay all of the fixed expenses outright on the first but I do like to separate our variable spending the weekly spending by the week so even though I pay all of the bills monthly I like to keep track of our variable spending by the week to make sure that we don't go over and that is what I use this envelope for so this is my spending cash envelopes and I have a couple of categories I do have a food category gas date night entertainment shopping and beauty so a majority of these envelopes are empty because it is the end of the month so we've spent all of the money that was in these envelopes but I do have ten dollars left within my food envelope and this is only because I think I moved it from the gas envelope because we already got gas I know we weren't gonna need it again for this week so I moved the extra that we have into this food envelope but the way that I use it is I separate how much we're going to spend in each category and then I will put it within this envelope and if you want to see how much I end up putting in each envelope then make sure that you stay tuned for next week's video because I am going to do a cash stuffing where I actually fill in the envelopes and walk you through my process but for now we're just talking about the setup so if you have variable expenses that you want to kind of keep track of make sure that you don't overspend on this is the best way for you to keep track and I have already removed all of the trackers that I usually will keep in here but I do keep some trackers in here so I know how much money I have left in each envelope so these are from my shop and usually I will write down the category at the very top here and and this is the best way for me to make sure I am keeping track of how much I have in each envelope so when I stuff these I am able to jot down the balance or how much is in this envelope and then that way I'm able to keep track of how much I am spending on a daily basis and if you want to see it just has the category at the top the date the description so I would put deposit when I am adding money into it then I would add the amount that I'm going to put in there and then the balance so if I decide to add 40 I would put plus 40 and then the balance of what's already in this envelope in this case since it's empty it would just be 40 again but this is the best way for me to kind of stay on top of how much I'm spending consistently and usually I will take them out at the end of every single month because I'm going to show you what I end up doing with any money that is left over in any of these envelopes 
but this is how it looks even when I have money in here because I will just keep the money behind the tracker. So these are my cash envelope spending categories. The next wallet that I keep is my saving envelope. So throughout the course of the month, I will try and save any $1 bill that I get. And I also will move over any extra money that I have left over, which is very rare. <laughs> but any money that I have left over at the end of the month, I will move into this saving envelope as well. So this does not replace my long-term saving, my emergency fund saving that I do every single month. I do take that automatically and move that over into our emergency fund. But what I do with this one is with any extra savings that we have, any saving challenges that I am doing, I will use this envelope in order to keep track. This one is not broken down by category. It is broken down by month and I didn't start it until the month of August. So as you can see, I do have the other envelopes in here, but they're all empty. The month of August and September are the only ones that have money in there. I will collect all my $1 bills for the month, and then I will put in a little post-it note behind it to let me know how much is in here. So for the month of August, I have $18 in here, and then I also have money in here for the month of September, but I haven't counted it yet or put in the little post-it note because we aren't finished with September yet. So anytime I'm doing some type of saving challenge, if it's bingo savings, if it's anything like that, that's what I'm using this for. I also am keeping a tracker in my side here to let me know how much I have saved for each month. So as you can see, it says cash and then has the month and then how much I have saved so far. So when I add the month of September, I'm going to add the total balance, the 18 plus whatever amount that I have here. So then that way I am able to keep track of how much I have in this wallet and I don't have to count it all over again. And the way that I am planning on using this savings, it's mainly for fun. So we are using this one as our fun savings, meaning that let's say I wanted to do a shopping spree or do something fun with the family. We wanted to go somewhere fun. This is the envelope that I would pull that from. This will just keep us encouraged on our budgeting journey. It's a way for me to make sure that I am still saving something and I know that once I get a nice amount in here we can do something really really fun so that's how I am going to use this wallet and then my last wallet is my sinking fund wallet. So this one will be strictly for my sinking funds. And with this one, it's set up the exact same way. I do have my tracker at the front. I do have cash at the back. And I do stuff these every single month. So we have car insurance. I have travel. I have gifts, taxes, holidays, maintenance and miscellaneous and i also have an additional tracker back here as you can see it says bank and this is the amount of money that's actually in the bank and the money that's in the bank is going to be used mainly for home repairs I just kept that in there because we're currently doing home repairs due to Hurricane Ida. So that 2000 is actually staying in the bank. And then I have all of these other categories. Now, if you've been following me for a while, then you may be asking what happened to capital. I have been using capital for a couple of years now. I did decide to switch it up though, because I started to have major issues with the app. It's really nothing on them. I was mainly having issues with connection and connectivity to my actual account. And so I just decided that I had used it for a couple of years. Why not switch it up and try something else? So I have all of these in here. I also have the balance that is currently in each envelope here. And then I also have the tracker. So with the tracker, I am just going to add up all of the amounts in each one of these envelopes, and then I can add the balance here. And I see that I haven't done that yet. So let's just do that really quickly. So we have 900 in cash, and then we have 2,000 that's in the bank. So the total is 2,900. And then I can keep that on the side here. 
So that just lets me know how much cash is in there and how much I have in the bank, which means I know what I have total in sinking funds. So that's how I'm using my three cash envelope wallets. This one is for sinking funds. That way I have everything that I need for anything that could catch us off guard. We also have our fund savings so that we're able to do something fun when we have some extra in here and I have our spending. So these two will stay in our safe at home. This one does come with me every now and then. Usually what I will do though is just take the envelope that I need. I don't normally take the entire thing. I would just take out this one, put it in my wallet so then I am able Able to keep track of whatever I spend but very rarely will I take any one of these out of my house because I don't like to have that much cash on me so I will try and keep them at home and remember if you wanted to purchase either one of these wallets then make sure that you check out the description box below also if you wanted to get you a set of these cash trackers that I sell in my Etsy shop you can also check out the description box below and next week we will be stuffing these so if you want to see the video on how I stuff these, make sure that you stay tuned for that. And I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.